My relationship with cancer. Routine mammogram. I'm called back for another mammogram. They want to do an ultrasound. Now they need a biopsy. I'm asked to call my husband to come be with me. The radiologist thinks it's cancer. What stage? What level? My mom died of cancer at age 25. They've come a long way with treatment. I've decided to fight it. I've decided not to die. I've asked the universe for an angel of healing. She came. She has a green and purple cape, black pointed toe high heeled shoes. I imagine a deep cavern of healing and I'm covered by her cape. She sends healing energy to me. I will breathe in healing and breathe out disease every day. At the first appointment with my surgeon, they served me tea in china cups. Yes, it's cancer. There's an MRI to see my tumor and lymph nodes. The tumor is small. I'm claustrophobic. I can't go into that tube. I'm given my first Valium, and I'm so happy to be in the tube. I'm singing along with the music. Stop singing now. The nurses say, please stop singing. We're turning off the music. A lumpectomy is scheduled. Then there's the insertion of a long wire into my breast to locate the tumor. Next, I have a mammogram to make sure the wire is in the right place. They inject me with turquoise dye to find the lymph node path. I get to see the 8x10 glossy photos. My nurse in pre-op whispers, she is a five-year cancer survivor and I'll be one too. The operation is a success and all the cancer is removed. The cancer hasn't spread to my lymph nodes. I can't wake up from the anesthesia. I don't know where I am. I have to throw up, but I can't throw up in the new car. I'm home in the garage. I open the car door and throw up. I feel terrible. Are you sure I didn't die? I have my first period in over a year. I follow up with my surgeon and mention the period. That means I'm not menopausal. I will have to do chemotherapy. I'm scared of chemotherapy. I don't want to be sick and bald. I visit the physical therapist to restore the range of motion in my arm. I continue to do my healing meditations. Next is the MUGA scan. I'm injected with dye to see if my heart can withstand chemotherapy. The x-rays of my heart look like birds. The radiologist can't see the birds. He only sees my heart and spleen. So I show him the birds. He's frustrated because now he sees the birds. He's not paid to see the birds. Then there's surgery to have an IV port put in my chest because my veins are too small for needles. Now I have this tube under my skin that runs up my neck. My left breast is still turquoise from my first surgery. My other breast is black and blue, soon to turn green. There go any hopes of being a topless dancer. I have inches of bandages wound up my neck. I can't turn my head. I look like the Frankenstein monster. My first chemo treatment. They jab the IV into my chest and inject me with two toxic chemicals. Treatment takes two hours. I feel like I have the flu. I'm tired. I'm freezing cold. Matzo ball soup shows up on my doorstep. It arrives after every chemo treatment. My family doctor calls after surgery and every chemo treatment to see how I'm feeling. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm really sick and exhausted. My second chemo treatment can't happen. My white blood cell count is too low. My second chemo Treatment happens. I have alternating painful constipation and exploding toxic poop. 
No nausea this time. I'm weak and I'm fainting. I can't keep food down and I have to go to the doctor. Matzo ball soup is delivered. It's the only thing I can keep down. I'm surprised by who shows up to see me through cancer. I'm surprised by who doesn't show up to see me through cancer. Blood tests, blood tests, blood tests. I'm in the shower and my hair falls out in clumps. I'm standing covered in wet hair and I can't get it off me. I decide to dry my, dry my hair and save it for an art project. I could make handmade paper using silk and flax and hair. I'm given a large felted wool hat with big flowers over each ear. I look like a deranged elf in search of a holiday. I've decided to stencil snowflakes on my head with paste food coloring. My family loves me and each other. Life is a great gift. I have my third chemo treatment. Matzo ball soup is delivered. I begin to walk outside. I can manage one block. I've gone back to the YMCA. I can manage six minutes and 11 seconds on the elliptical. My fourth chemo treatment. I feel sick and tired and I have constant bloody noses. Matzo ball soup arrives. No more chemo ever. I have my post chemo checkup. My blood levels are normal. My IV port is removed. I did it. I beat cancer. Perfect strangers stop to tell me how many years they have been a cancer survivor. Radiation starts tomorrow. I have to go every day for six weeks. I am a survivor. This is a record of the emotions I wasn't prepared for that accompanied the treatments that I was. How do you heal these emotions? You make them visible, you let them breathe, and so they begin to heal.